Hi, this is Rachel from Pure Photo Photoshop Actions, and it is four in the morning, but it's quiet at my house, so I thought I would take a second and show a couple of the awesome tricks that CS5 can do that I think sometimes people don't um, even really know are there. So the two things that I want to talk about today are using the Refine Edge tool for masking, and um, then also um, just a quick overview of how to use content to wear fill. Um, once you learn how to use these, you will love how easy your life is. So if you have CS5, watch. This is super awesome. Um, okay, so with the Refine Edge tool, we're going to make a mask. We're going to duplicate this layer. Um, so we're going to do Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. Um, Okay, I'm going to come over here and select my lasso tool, and uh, what I'm going to do is I want to take this black background and make it completely black, instead of how it's got those highlights, and you can see all the lint and everything. Um, this is super easy, so what we're going to do is we're just going to draw kind of around the baby. Um, you want to get as close as possible, but it doesn't have to be totally perfect. Um, there we go. Um, and this just, whoa, look at me go. I'm awesome like that. Um, this just kind of takes away some of those, oh, you know what, I just messed that up. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, this is just going to, it really um, kind of takes care of a lot of those tedious hours of trying to burn uh, down the black background without getting the baby, uh, lots of erasing back, and all sorts of things. See my f hand every time it gets to the edge of my desk. It's not loving me. Um, there we go. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, the closer you can get it, kind of the better your situation's gonna be. Um, okay, so there we go. We have a pretty decent little selection there. What we're going to do is come up, see here we have Refine Edge, we're going to click that, um, and we're going to tell it the output, we want it to um, make a layer mask, and then we're going to come up here to Edge Detection, so we're going to kind of, okay, keep watching it, Edge, there we go, see how, like we're getting there and all, all of a sudden down here we're getting a lot better. Look at that, we just have a little bit down here. It's not too bad. It's possible if we go over a little more. Okay, we're pretty good, except for now we got his hair. So let's see where that happy place is that we're not getting his hair. Yeah, so you can just kind of watch your edges. We're pretty good, just a little bit down here is escaping. Um, not too bad. Um, and you can do things like smoothing the edge and things too. Um, so it's up here a little bit that it's getting away from us and down here, but it's really not too bad. Um, actually I am a little bit worried about that spot on his hand too. So bring that back. And, you know, if I would have made a nicer selection, it might not have had this down here, because that's where I'm like, oh, doggone. Anyway, um, but that gives you kind of the idea. So we're going to do this. It's going to make a layer mask here. Now we're going to invert this mask, because right now we have black conceals, so all this is concealed. White reveals, the baby's revealed. That's not what we want. So I'm going to click on my layer mask. See how I made it active? and it's surrounded by these brackets. Okay, now I'm going to click Control or Command. If you're on a Mac, Control and Command, those are the, uh, Command is the Control key on the Mac. So we're going to do Control I, and we've inverted the mask. Now white reveals, the black is revealed. Black conceals, the baby is covered up. So um, this is so easy now. We're going to get our brush tool by selecting B. We're going to come over here, we're going to click D. Um, okay, it's not wanting to do that. Where are we? Like default, we're going to X. Okay, so we just crossed it out. Uh, there you go. So now we have the black on the top. And I'm going to get my paintbrush. 
I'm going to bring my opacity all the way up. And, oops, just a second. I'm painting on the wrong thing. Don't do that. Don't paint on your mask. Oops, but do invert it. Ugh, golly gee. Okay, there we go. Inverted, painting on the mask. Here we go. Click on this layer. Oops. Ha! <laughs> okay, showing you all the things not to do at 4 a.m. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the black again. And we're going to come through and just paint our way here. And see, that's where that mask is. Do you see how it isn't covering up right there? Not as well. Um, so we'll just have to come in in a second. We can fix that up. Um, and like I said, if you got a little closer, because that was where my hand kept falling off, um, then you're not going to have that problem, really. Um, but see, we can just come through here and paint it. And, you know, even if we're down here painting right here, it's not going to get it because the baby is masked off. And ta-da! We go from, you know, before to after. It's super quick, especially if it's not four in the morning and you're a little bit more aware of what you're doing. Um, okay, so we'll just pretend that's not there. That's something we can fix pretty easy. We could go back and remask. We could just come in and kind of gently um, paint or burn. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do this now. Um, one thing that we can do is we can say, you know, this baby is kind of laying down a little bit flat. Maybe we want that propped up look. Um, let's see. I'm going to go up here and say, okay, I want it to be 7 by 5. Whoops, not 50. Let's see. 5. Okay, and we're going to say, okay, here's our baby. And we're going to kind of tilt this. And now, see, he's upright, a little more upright. I like that look a little bit more. It didn't look like his head was laying down so far. Um, but now we have these little things. Now, obviously, I could just go in and paint this away. Um, and that's what I would normally do, um, is just come in with my black paintbrush and paint those away. But in the interest of trying to show content to wear fill, I just wanted to um, show you this. So I'm going to make another duplicate layer, Control-J. And then I'm going to select this. Um, you can use, right now I'm using my marquee tool, so I'll just do it a couple different ways each time. Okay, my marquee tool, I have this all selected. I have right clicked on this. I'm going to come down to fill. It says content aware. I say okay. And it thinks about it for a second, and there it is. It fills it in without me having to do anything very much. Um, I can also come over here with my lasso tool and circle that. Again, right click. Uh, choose fill, content aware, okay, deselect that, I'm going to come here, draw around this, like obviously I'm not being very careful because, you know, it's just the black, fill, content aware, okay, and thinking about it, and it fills that in, and you know, content aware fill uh, is shockingly awesome, it will, um, it'll go through and and you know sometimes it doesn't get it quite right but usually you're going to be really really impressed with what you get with content wear fill um so okay so now we've got the baby the way we want we've got these oh i guess this over here kind of didn't get filled like that tiny little spot so there we go one more chance to kind of see the path circle it con uh fill right so we right click we fill we content wear fill and we say okay so we've got this all um, like our back background is already, I'm just ready to edit on the baby. Um, so it's, it's pretty awesome how quickly you can chew through some of these things that would have been really, really tedious tasks before. Um, so yeah, the refine edge tool and content aware fill are pretty awesome. Um, just, well, maybe I would do quick, uh, as an edit on the baby. I'm using set one here, so we have sunshine baby, turn out the lights baby, um, and this baby, I'm not going to do a lot, I know he's got some red in his skin, um, but he is, he's ethnic, so he um, has that naturally in his skin, and I want him to look like himself, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch about that, so I'm bringing my opacity way, way down, I have sunshine baby, I'm going to just brighten him up just a little bit, we're going to kind of go through and just, you know, brighten up a little. Now I'm going to use lights out and we're going to kind of contour him. Okay, so we're going to kind of bring down the white a little bit so it's not quite so crazy. We're going to bring in his hair so it's more defined. We're going to kind of gently paint in the shadows so we have a little bit more 
kind of three-dimensionality to the baby um, because the shadows are kind of what gives us visual interest. Flat light is not what we're looking for. Um, okay, and now I'm going to paint this on his features a little bit too, um, just to give them a little bit of pop. To change my brush size, I am using the bracket keys right now. I'm using the left bracket key to make it smaller, right bracket key now to make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Um, so there we go. Um, we've given it a little bit of dimensionality now. See, look, we'll go before, after, and before, after. Um, just gives us a little bit of interest. Um, I don't like the shine on the nose, so I'm going to click I. I have my eyedropper. I'm choosing a spot on the nose that I do like. B, back to my brush tool. Uh, I just did my uh, right bracket key, making it a little bit bigger. Again, it's 8% opacity. I'm just gently painting in that skin tone on the two bright spots that I kind of am not loving. Okay, just makes them look not quite so shiny, a little more matte. Um, you know what, and I think I'm going to come back and use Turn Out the Lights Baby just a little bit on, see this foot here? It's just a little bit bright. I think it caught the light coming down this way. So I want to just, you know, take kind of some of that down so that the foot is not being like the center. We want that cute smile to kind of be the center. Um, okay, so there we go. Um, again, so there was before, here's after. I'm feeling a little bit happier about that situation. Um, let's see, so that right there took care of a lot of it. I'm going to run Soft and Sparkly Baby. It's going to set up really quick. Okay, soft skin. Again, I, I really like working with the low opacities, clicking it over it a few times to kind of build it up and hit just the spot that I like. Because um, I don't want the baby to look plastic or anything. I just, you know, we want him to look cute and smooth. Now we're going to come here, the eye pop. Yeah, he's asleep. But, you know, and this will make those eyes sparkle if you have good catch lights. But right now he's asleep, but we can still paint over those details and just make them pop a little bit more. Um, so again, here we have before and after. It's really subtle, but it works for me and it looks really good in print. Um, you know, I could be really happy right there even. Um, other things that you can do, um, there's always uh, It's All About the Bling, which I super duper like. It's just a really gentle pop action. So there you go, before and after. Just a little bit of pop. See how it's kind of add a little more dimensionality. I might even turn that down just a little bit. Um, so he pops just a little bit, but not crazy. Um, and then, you know, then from here, like, we've got the basic clean edit. His skin tones are good. The whites are white. Um, we've done the blacks. And, you know, we've molded the light to give it just the kind of the shape we want. Um, and then if you want to do something fun, like sometimes uh, this is a really popular look uh, currently the haze. Um, that's a little bit bright for my taste, but it's kind of got that really popular um, slightly hazy look. You can bring it down a little bit so you have a little bit of haze. Just a little bit of that kind of kind of softens the tone and stuff. It also gives the black an interesting look as well. It's not quite so harsh. Um, so there's uh, you know that look. Um, also even though he is quite warm um, with his skin tone, we probably could even warm him up a little bit. Um, so there's different looks we can go for. Um, we could turn up this a little bit for a little more haze. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. I like it. Um, anyway, and as you can see, it was a really quick edit, even while chit-chatting and talking. Um, anyway, um, so there are uh, content wear fill and... Um, the refine edge tool for CS5 as well as just kind of a real fast edit on a newborn. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. This is Rachel with Pure Photoshop Actions and uh, thank you so much for your support.